Hey, it's Joseph here. We are talking about these two products here today. And the first one here is from Logitech, the G series, and it is G915 TKL version, which means 10 keyless version. So there's no number pad at the end, but this is a mechanical keyboard and actually low profile keyboard. I was interested in looking at this one. So Logitech has provided me this one as well as this one right here which is Logitech G Pro X Super Light, which is a super light mouse that I have featured on this channel, which was the white version and this one is black. I thought it would nicely pair up with the keyboard. I am actually excited to open all of this because it means that I can go completely wireless in terms of the setup. And I'm gonna play a little bit of game at the end just to kind of test out all of this. And here is the black version of this mouse. And here is the white one as a comparison. It did receive some scuffs as I have been using this mouse for casual gaming, but the black one is going to pair up much nicer with the black keyboard that I'm gonna have, or at least silvery keyboard that I'm gonna have. Okay, so the white one aside, looks quite nice. I always prefer this light mouse as well as the finish on this mouse where it doesn't become as sticky as my Daily Driver MX Master 3. Also great mouse, but it does become sticky on that one whereas this one doesn't. And then inside of the box, we'll get through this quickly as I already have unboxed and showcased this mouse in the other video. I'll leave the link in the description. Here is the cable. So I'm just going to plug this dongle into here and connect this one to my computer. Yep, that works. So this is my very first mechanical keyboard from Logitech. So I have high hopes about this. I need to undo this tab. But also, let's read a couple of words that are included in the box. So this is 10 keyless light speed wireless RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. So it is kind of aimed at the gaming crowd out there, but I'm gonna use this for professional applications as well. Since this is a mechanical keyboard, gives you nice feedback in terms of the keystrokes, but it is not one of those regular keys. It is the low profile keys that's gonna be nice and slim. So I'm gonna test all of that out in my regular usage. Lightspeed technology, which is a super fast and reliable wireless connectivity with one millisecond report rate, game or professional application up to 40 hours in terms of the battery charge. And also light sync RGB, next gen RGB synchronizes. I don't really care for RGB all that much. Just know that it includes backlight on the keys and also you can control the color if you wish to. And it includes the G tactile keyboard low profile mechanical gaming switches produce a discernible bump at the point of actuation GL clicky and GL linear options are also available but the unit that I have requested for has the tactile keys which is something that I prefer and it does have aluminum alloy top case gives you the rigidity of the keyboard as well as sort of the solid feel of it so no deck flex type of thing will get to that once we open this. I really like the Logitech G packaging as it is always black or dark gray with blue finish, which is kind of color that I always go for. I don't know if you had noticed on my logo and also the background. Okay, so as we open up, this is what it looks like. This is very nice looking. quite light compared to what I had imagined it to be, but it is very solid as it has the aluminum metal top. And let's get through the rest of the box before we get into the keyboard. Okay, here is the cable. Let's just undo these plastics. Charges with micro USB, which is kind of disappointing, but it was the same for the mouse. So I guess you could kind of connect that one as well if you wish to. Yes, you can. At least you can use one cable for all the devices, but you're gonna have to use dedicated dongle, which is this one over here, which then I will also connect to my computer. So the charging cable pretty much works as a dongle connection as well. 
Okay, so here is the complete setup. How do I turn this thing on? There is a power switch and now it glows with all sorts of different color RGB. Actually, I should turn it off and show you this. So there is different incline that you can set or the dongle could actually live there. So if I take out the dongle, if I take out the dongle, I could put it right here inside so that it doesn't get lost. I should actually show you how this thing connects. So there is a dongle itself, which is a USB type A and then connects to here. And then the same charging cable has USB type A on one end and then micro USB, which can connect to over here. So you can either charge the device, the mouse or the keyboard, and also connect your dongle through the same port, which is a nice thing. Okay, let's have this incline slightly. And because it is so slim, I don't really need any sort of keyboard wrist rest. That was one of the things that I was kind of struggling with the full height mechanical keyboards because I need to have a wrist rest otherwise the keys are just too high and it feels very uncomfortable. So I kind of looked into low profile keys and I think this is the right answer. The slight incline is all good and then I can quickly type away and it feels very very comfortable. Obviously I can just rest my hand here without much problem. Yeah, feels good. We're gonna have to do some typing test. And there's a nice wheel up here. I believe that does volume control and there's a media key. And actually these keys are nice feeling. Doesn't give you that tactile feel, but it is a nice rubbery feel, if you know what I mean. The rubber is very smooth finish and nice. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on. And I think I do need to install the software. So let me go ahead and do that. Support, downloads. I need to download Logitech G Hub. Download now, install. I suppose that's gonna give me the RGB control. I guess I can press that. And as I press, it cycles through different colors. And because this is all black, it's kind of hard to see any of the characters. So it's helpful to have some color on it. Welcome to Logitech G Hub. Let's get started. Okay, both are connected. They have about 46, 52%. That's fine. Brightness is 100%. Presets. Cycle through? No, I don't want to cycle through. I like fixed. I like sort of the blue color maybe here just so that the characters are visible. So here it is sort of the brightest setup that I can have. Okay, so I can press this so that it is a game mode. And then here are the media keys and I can control the volume. I can see that my volume going up and down very smooth. I like that immediate control. Okay, that's pretty much it in terms of the keyboard control. What about the mouse? I can set it so that it goes in different increments. So let's set it up to 1600 so it is somewhat fast. Okay, let's go ahead and do some typing tests. Okay, so 67 AWPM, not bad. I have kind of arranged within 60 to 70 on good days, but yeah, that seems pretty much average, but the experience is quite nice. I like this low profile keys and the tactile feel is fantastic. Okay, let me go ahead and have some game.
if it games well, I suppose it's gonna do all other productivity type of things really well too. Only the thing that I'm kind of missing out is the number pad on its side. I do use number pad quite often, so I'm gonna have to get either a separate one or actually the non 10 keyless version of this keyboard just so that I can have that. It was quite expensive when I was looking into this, so I may have to just bite the bullet and get that because this 10 keyless version really feels nice and it is really pleasant to use this keyboard. So yeah, I have some thoughts to do. But other than that, I hope you have enjoyed this content. If you did, please like this video and please consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of content. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.